welcome back to the Express at Wellbrook Heritage Winery in Delta, known for its delicious blueberry juice and blueberry wines. And as owner Terry Bremner mentioned earlier, the crazy weather we've been having this summer hasn't stopped the blueberries, it's just slowed the season a little. In fact, the rain doesn't seem to stop anybody, especially not last weekend at Kitts Beach. <laughs> There was light rain, but good turnout at the 20th annual Vancouver Open Beach Volleyball Tournament, hosted by Volleyball BC. What we are is a provincial sports organization in charge of youth and adult events. Um, so we range from indoor to outdoor events, and this is of course our biggest outdoor event, one that we lead up to with all our qualifier tournaments. final game, two Californians beat a team from Vancouver to take the gold. I've never been to Vancouver. I love it. Minus the rain yesterday, but no, it, it's been so much fun. We're used to playing against the same teams over and over again in California. So to be able to be challenged with different teams and kind of a different look, it's so much fun to come up here for sure. This is the biggest tournament of the year um, in Vancouver and it's great level of entertainment. Uh, it's live entertainment, athletics, so uh, beach volleyball is really big and I, I mean it's easy to see why the athletes are very impressive. But the athletes aren't just here to impress. Bottom line is there's $15,000 on the line. Um, and it's a great way to sort of play against different people from all over the country. Uh, the men's gold medal game wrapped up the tournament with two Canadians taking the prize. We're pretty happy, we're feeling pretty, uh, pretty ecstatic. I mean, our first big win as a team, second final this season, um, it's good to pull it out. It's really important for our Canadian tour to really gather some steam and so it really it raises the caliber in Canada and you know that helps us play and compete internationally. Which is part of the mandate of Volleyball BC and what keeps fans coming out to Kitts Beach year after year. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. Volleyball BC offers youth and adult programs all over the province. They also rent out equipment in case you'd like to start your own beach volleyball league. You can find out more at the website. Now, hitting the beach is a popular thing in the summer, rain or shine, and another popular thing to do is take a boat tour. Up next on the Express, we're boarding the SV Thane, a ship with one heck of a story. Big Summer is brought to you by Caltus Lake Water Park, BC's number one water park on a cool summer day. The Coho Ferry sounds off in the distance. The propellers of the seaplane signal their departure. And people walk around checking out the arts and food and the many bobbing boats. Okay, so if you're from Victoria, or you've visited Victoria's Inner Harbor, you've probably seen this boat. They take passengers out and give them, you know, the sights and sounds of the surrounding waters. But this boat is more than that. It's made of Victoria's past. I took over another man's project. He'd fallen into a rum bottle. I was going to build a boat, had hurt myself in a motorcycle accident, thought this was a head start, traded my 68 Chevy station wagon for the unfinished project, hauled it away. This is Len Pearson, the captain of the Thane, a boat he built from 1972 to 1975. Pearson found the hull under a fruit tree. His story resembles one of a well-known sailor. Turns out that this was originally a copy of the spray, which was Joshua Slocum's boat that he'd found under a fruit tree in Boston and sailed around the world. Joshua Slocum was a Canadian-born American adventurer who became the first man to sail single-handedly around the world on his boat, the Spray. He was a good friend of, uh, of Teddy Roosevelt. So, I mean, like he, was, he wasn't just a shoddy nobody. <laughs> While Pearson hasn't exactly sailed around the world, he knows a thing or two about boats, especially wooden boats. Uh, there's probably hundreds of metal and fiberglass sprays in the world. There's probably less than a dozen wooden sprays. 
and we all know each other. It's sort of a small clique. The Thane is built with materials from buildings that no longer exist in Victoria. All the old working harbour, um, most of it got thrown away as we became the harbour we are today. But while the bulldozers were pushing down the buildings, I was in right in the midst of it pulling out bits of fine wood. He's even got pieces of some famous Victorian buildings. Bits from the Empress, bits from the um, what's now the Milestones, and many old homes that were, you know, beautiful old Victorian homes or Edwardian even uh, homes, or I'm not even sure, old stuff. Take this table, for example. It's ash wood from World War II ships. This was Jara from uh, uh, Western Australia originally. The former school teacher points out this wood is rare. While he got a lot of it for almost nothing, today this wood is worth a lot of money. And this is yew wood. I, cut, I had a big plank of yew wood. It grows here. It's one of the hardest woods we have on the West Coast. And the rest of it, the decking, is fur flooring. Almost everything on this boat has a story, from blocks handcrafted by Pearson to buckets that catch tourists' eyes to the sink in the bathroom made of mahogany. There is just something about history that fascinates me. And when there's a boat like this, which is a story to tell, well, that's just an added bonus. For Big Summer, I'm Sucheta Singh. Big Summer is brought to you by Cultus Lake Water Park, BC's number one water park. You're watching The Express from Wellbrook Winery in Delta, and we're all about art and emotion. Up next. After the break. With this pinwheel, Aubrey, you can always <laughs> count on me. Why am I getting emotional? I was just young, hip, and married on the sanctity of ceremony. The Bill Reed Gallery in Vancouver. The Express. We are your local voice. Now pronounce you friends, co-hosts forever and ever. Have a great time. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV. Provided by The Lounge Hair Studio. Loungehairstudio.com when you wish. When you wish for something wonderful to happen. Sometimes it can make you forget. About the needles. And the pain. And get through this thing. Forget about being stuck inside. You laugh with my family? Go somewhere really amazing. And get through this thing. The Children's Wish Foundation of Canada. Imagine the difference a wish can make. Almost four and a half million Canadians live with arthritis. It's a leading cause of pain and disability. Arthritis strikes young and old alike, and the burden of illness takes an enormous toll. The Canadian Arthritis Network is a not-for-profit organization that funds research and connects today's players in arthritis research. We're all working together so that today's arthritis research becomes tomorrow's cure. For more information, please visit arthritisnetwork.ca. Welcome back to The Express at Wellbrook Winery in Delta. Gorgeous spot out here. Maybe a great location for your wedding day. You know, so much thought goes into the planning of that day. If you think of location or flowers, food, the bridesmaid dresses. But what about the ceremony? Today on the Wedding Bells segment, the girls vow not to forget the most important part. Carrots Wedding Bells is brought to you by Carrots. Online at carrots.com. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure. Plan the big day. Weddings the world over have one thing in common. The I do. Sarah and I headed to Dr. Sung Yat Sen Garden to learn all about wedding ceremonies. Sarah and Aubrey, you've brought all of us today to honor you. Officiator Marilyn Knipp says, I think that we have long since forgotten that community and ceremony has power. And so bringing people together is one of the best things we can do to step into marriages. Sarah wanted to practice for her big day. You are committed, friends, for life, right? 
Yes. Our, our ceremony was off to a rocky start. Yes, Aubrey, we're committing to each other. Yes. And I want you to turn around and just look at the community that's with you today to oh, celebrate with up. you. Okay, maybe the community wasn't out in full force. I, Aubrey, take you, Sarah, to be my co-host and friend for life. With this pinwheel, Aubrey, you can always count on me. Why am I getting emotional? I was just going to say I was getting emotional, too. Marilyn was right. Even our ceremony had power. Our next officiator was Darian Kovac. And would you ever think this is what officiators have to do upon arrival? You know, we're in the summer months, you know, riding my bike over, you know. I wanted to know. Do you ever look at a groom and he's like green and he's white and he's swaying or no? If we don't do a rehearsal, which we, I've done in the past, they're usually quite nervous. We learned that from our ceremony with Marilyn. Oh, you, do you step away when they do their Where bows? Where are you going? Oh, I'm leaving you guys. <laughs> rehearsal, very important. He also told us. I like to get to know the couple, hear their story and figure out their flavor and their essence. But when he got to know us. They're ready to make this commitment for life. Maybe this is my issue because. What? Commitment? The life part. The ceremony over. has turned into Aubrey getting counseled on finding love online. I just don't want to meet someone that way. I know eight weddings I'm doing this summer, eight men online. I still have time. I still have time. You get to check them out, see the photos, and see what these like. It was all a bit much for me. It gives me anxiety. Sarah tried to help by changing the subject. One of the things I like at ceremonies, almost everybody who's coming to my wedding is married. Well, she sort of helped. I usually have the congregation, the people watching the wedding, make a vow with the couple. And I remember their own vows. To have and to hold. We learned that regardless of what is said or how the ceremony is performed, each one has power, and each one is unique to the couple. Darian decided to give us one more shot. I love you even with your hard lines. I love you even with your exaggerations. You don't really want to point that out. Thank goodness for wedding officiators. I now pronounce you friends, co-hosts forever and ever. Have a great time together. I'm so excited. I love the community. And I have a community coming to my wedding. For Shaw TV, where are the wedding bells? Carrots Wedding Bells has been brought to you by Carrots, online at carrots.com. You're watching The Express on Shaw TV, and we've got your Cultus Lake Big Summer Spotlight on local events. House Wine and the Harmony Arts Festival introduce Best of the West. Guests will be introduced to food and wine from 10 participating restaurants and wineries. The North America Out Games are coming to Vancouver. This continental event includes multi-sport elements supported by the Gay and Lesbian International Sports Association. The BC Renaissance Festival is 4.5 acres of pure fun. Four stages offer a variety of entertainment all day long. Plus there's games, music, dance, delicious food, parades and more. And the Wellbrook Winery here in Delta is open daily for tastings. Now that's it for today's Express. We're going to leave you with a look at the latest from the Bill Reed Gallery in Vancouver. And we hope to see you next time.